Howdy everybody, Lucy Goosey here and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. Now, I've been trying to play this game all day and trying to get it to record properly and it hasn't worked yet. I just downloaded some new software, hopefully that's going to help me uh, bring these games to you a lot better. Um, but we're trying it out right now, so let's hope it goes well. And, like I said, played it a little bit already. Uh, we're starting over though. You know, fresh slate, fresh equipment, fresh software fresh slate we're gonna do this so welcome to game dev tycoon this business simulation you have been transported uh, back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution in the next 35 years you can build your dream company create best-selling games gain fans and become the leader of the market before you can start your adventure you have to give your company a name uh, we're going to be duck duck goosey just because I think it sounds hilarious and I am Goose. Not Goosey, just Goose. And I'm a boy. Yes, I'm a boy. No, not that guy. We're that guy. And there's a green shirt in here somewhere. That one. That's me. Unlock hints? No unlocked hints because, you know, like I said, played it. I want to fresh slate this stuff. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu to access the help menu and other features, blah blah blah. Escape, yeah we got it. Congratulations, you just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage. Sad. Uh, you are the only employee, but don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. And from what I understand, I believe that the people who made this game also started out in their garage. So good on you for being able to create something that is this polished, this nice in your garage I mean I honestly can't fathom what it would take to do that stuff all right let's start developing your first game close this message click anywhere bring up the action menu and we're going to develop a new game before development can begin you have to decide what kind of game and give it a name you can also select what sh which graphics technology your game should use initially limited but once you have a bit of experience you will be able to unlock new options all right we are going to uh, oops, I don't know what that was. Uh, we're gonna pick a topic first. Uh, transport, aliens, zombies, mystery, aliens. And we're gonna call it, hmm. Uh, kill all humans. I know that's more of a robot than aliens, but you know what I'm getting at. Pick genre. We'll do a strategy game for the PC. All right, next. But it's going to be 2D graphics. I don't like text-based. I actually love text-based games, um, but not for this game. We, we're not going to focus on that today. Uh, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide which areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your games and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description, blah blah blah, help menu. Uh, engine, we're going to put the engine up and the gameplay up. Story and quest line doesn't need to be that high for this, I think. I hope not. Two bugs already, damn. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which are divided into technology points and design points. One, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points, blah, blah, blah. These points will become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. But it's better to release a game that works than a game that's broken. You know, just my opinion. It's kind of, you know, I don't do this for a living. All right, dialogues don't need to be there. Level design and artificial intelligence do have to be there. All right, let's see what we got. Technology is gonna is sucking on this. There we go. A little bit better. The bugs. I I'm obviously doing this game incredibly stupidly. Uh, my technology is shit. Uh, during development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. 
Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increase its cost. I'll see graphic type you selected to define the game. You cannot change the graphics mid-game. All right, world design. Yeah, graphics, yes. Sound, no. There we go, there's some technology. Still, no oh my gosh, the bugs. Look at all the bugs. Honestly, that's the most bugs I've ever had in any of the games that I've done so far. Uh, the development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button. But nope, I'm gonna finish fixing the bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs. Effect for ratings, you need cash, can't afford to wait. But there, there are games that, back then, they released them with the bugs. And they would absolutely ruin the game. Like, you'd be on the second level, you'd go through door on the left instead of door on the right, and the game would stop working completely. There was no fix for it. Uh, now you have the games that have um, day one download uh, patches. They're good things. They look like bad things. It's like, oh, I gotta wait to play the game. But you have to wait to play the game. Otherwise, you just can't play the game. Oh, stupid bug. All right, all right, Technology 7, that's a, ah, that's a pretty okay. The technology's not quite there, but the design of the game is fantastic. Development of your game is now finished while development, developing your game. You gain experience and improve your skills. 16 research. It's not bad. New topic, new combo. It's good. All right, we'll zoom past all this stuff. Uh, and we'll release the game. The game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. All right, let's see what I got. I'm not too hopeful. That was, uh, technology wasn't quite there. Uh, the first reviews for game, oh, kill all humans. Uh, all right, fine, that's not bad. An eight, holy crap, a five and an eight. And a seven, okay, we're, we did okay for this. Very enjoyable. Their focus on engines served this game very, very well. Falls a bit sharp. Okay, so obviously some ranging in opinions here. Alright, we'll close that though. After publishing the game, you can invest a little bit of time and analyze your creation, generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points. Right up there. Then the insight and works and what doesn't in developing a game. Uh, click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Generate game report. All right, that cost me 47000 to make. Duck Duck Goosey, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Kill All Humans. The game received a favorable reviews with such a good start, Duck Duck Goosey are sure to gain fans quickly. Let's hope so. Let's hope that works for YouTube as well. <laughs> Holy cow, we did 5,600 units in the first week in the market. Made on the charts at 87, top 100. That's what I like to see. Now that your game is on sale, you receive the income in the games every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph on the top right of the screen. Oh wow, we did we did pretty okay. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Kill All Humans was so successful that we have 33 fans. That's that's like uh, 10 times what I have right now on YouTube. Yeah, I have two, so <laughs> whatever number that is, I don't know. All right. Research points. Beautiful. Beautiful. Our post-release analysis of Kill All Humans is complete. We got the following results. Aliens and strategy is a good combination. Dialogues seem to be not important for this type of game. Good. I didn't put too many dialogues in this. Uh, platform, genre, match, PC, and strategy is great. All right. Uh, I think everybody knows that by now. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insight. It pays off to generate a report each time. Now you complete your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. Alright, let's pull up that damn research menu. It's important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try and save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Try to develop games with different topics for a slight research boost. Alright, so new custom game engine is 50 and we have 22, so we're going to research a new topic this time. And we're going to... Superheroes, ooh... We're going to go with superheroes. Everybody loves a good superhero game, right? Except, you know, like... Uh, I, I, I know superhero games didn't do that well until, like, Arkham Knight, Arkham Asylum, and all that stuff. Uh, I'll start the research. 
So you can see we went down 10 points because we're spending we're spending money to make money, right? And we're at Kill All Humans has achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. Important milestone. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, new topic research superheroes. We got 13. Come on, hit that 14. Yes, 14,000 units sold. And I don't think we're going to get 15, but we're going to get close. Recent market studies suggest that the Govador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configuration over the whole of their home computers. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. I, don't th I, I honestly don't think it's going to happen. Alright, so we'll hit that. Oh, excuse me. Yes, we hit 15,000 units sold. So we are going to develop a new game. Uh, game for this one is... We're going to pick a topic first. Um, let's, let's do that superhero game. Uh, and it's going to be Superhero RPG for the PC. And we're going to call it... What are we going to call it? Um, Capes... Crusaders. All right, and it'll be a 2D graphics. Hey, we got one and one. Engine has to be good on this one. Gameplay has to be good, but story and quest line, that's a must. We will deal with the bugs. I don't even care. Yeah, scratch your head. How am I gonna make this work? I, I don't know. Game is off the market. Sold 15,965 units, generating $111,791 in sales. Oh, I love it. All right, we're doing okay for this one. Doing okay. One bug. We're doing great for our design, not so much for our technology again. Dialogues, I want them up. Level design, I want that up. Artificial intelligence, we can drop just a little bit. There we go. My technology just isn't going up as quickly as I would like it to. World design we want up. Sound we want up as well. Actually, world design we can drop a little bit. Graphics we want up. See, there we go. Now we're starting to get a little more. According to rumors, Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for its widely successful arcade game, Tinky King. Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. And <laughs> sitting armchair quarterback right here, we can all laugh, oh, 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 Ninvento is not going to do anything. And we can see how well gaming consoles in the home have done since they've dropped back in 1987, 1989, whenever uh, the NES came out. All right, we got a bug. Get rid of that bug. Okay, we fixed it. Are we going to get one more technology? Yes, no. All right, our monthly costs are going up again. Um, we're going to finish this in three, two, one. Finish. Okay. There we go. New record. New topic, new combo. Love it. Let's see, we're evening out over here. That's okay. So we'll release this game. Today, Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES, uh, the Entertainment System, <laughs> early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Okay. Uh, the first views, uh, Cape Crusaders came in. I really hope I spelled that right. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, that's not looking good. Oh, that's not looking good. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to watch the rest. Not bad, not good. Okay, come on, keep going up. Come on, you gave me mixed reviews last time. Uninspiring, come on. Better than a three. Better than a three. Pretty bad. All right. Thanks, guys. See, I thought I did well on that one. We'll close out of that. Uh, generate game report. Four Cave Crusaders. You know what? I want to see... Look at that. We made a profit of $64,000 on that last game. That's... That's not bad for living in your garage. All right, so we're doing that. How many sales? Oh, that's not looking good. Oh, 1.3 thousand. Oh, we did better the next week, though. Superheroes RPG is good. 
world design very important platform genre match is good all right oh we're not doing well at all that's that's sad all right we need to do some research we get a new topic no vampire uh post-apocalyptic uh we're gonna do we're gonna do prison we'll do a prison escape game i think we can do that right so once he's done with this, we'll jump into that real quick. Because Caved Crusaders... Okay, we hit 5,000, so that's that's okay. So we're... I think we've sold enough that we're making money on it. New topic, prison. Okay, so we're going to develop a new game. And it's going to be... Is, we'll just call it Escape. With an exclamation point. Uh, pick topic, prison, genre... Uh, we'll do uh, adventure action. Prison action for the PC. And we'll make. Should we make a text based game? No. No, not with Nivento coming out. Um, you know what? They should be releasing fairly soon. They said it was coming out the second year. So let's do this first. No, because it costs a lot to make it. Oh, new game. New escape, exclamation point, pick topic, prison, uh, action, PC, next. Uh, 2D graphics. All right, there we go. We're starting off one and one. Engine, gameplay, story, quest, no. Engine, drop it down a little bit. Gameplay, actually, we'll drop the engine down. There we go. Now we're getting technology up there. Not as much as we'd like. Actually, barely any. Ooh, 43,000 in sales. We did not make money on that one, did we? No, we lost 3,000. It was close. We lost 3,000, though. Oh, all right. Dialogues. Drop it. Level design. It's a prison. Artificial intelligence. We want those cops to catch us. We don't want to make this easy. There we go, technology jump up. There we go. Now we're making some headway with technology. Today the new game platform TES by Ninvento has been released. So third month. I would have had to wait another couple months and my money would have been gone. Uh, world design, graphics, sounds. Don't need that great. My designs are fairly good. There we go, technology. That's what I like to see. Right, we're going to finish this game up. There we go. New record. All right. Looks like we're going to level those up on the next one. And we will... No, we don't want to research yet. Game review. Oh, come on. Go up. I've seen better. Oh, these aren't looking good. My reviews are just absolute shit. We need to do better. Meh. All right, but no threes again, so that's good. Uh, we'll generate the game report for this one. Okay, that's doing a lot better than the last game. A lot better. 2,000 in the first week. 43, 44, 45. So we need five more. So with the next one, we should be able to do that. Hi there, I've just finished Escape, and I think you have potential. I'm in the contracting business, and we could use skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know, and we'll see if we have some work for you, Jason. Thanks, Jason. Contracts have now been unlocked to see available contracts. Okay. Post-release uh, prison and action is a great combination. Story quest, not important for this. PC action, good. Okay. So what can I do? I'm going to research. New topic. Wild West, Vampire Law. Uh, we'll do post-apocalyptic. No. No, we won't. Uh, we'll do Wild West. Start the research. And after that's done, we'll call it for today. Um, <laughs> I really like this game. And knowing that these guys basically made this while working out of their garage, working out of their home, research complete. Um, knowing that they were able to do this just working out of their, out of their home... And have a game that th that is this polished is just absolutely mind-boggling to me. I've tried to make games like with RPG Maker, it didn't didn't go so hot. 
Um, but we're going to leave it here today. I am definitely going to come back and play this game some more. I absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you would like to see me play, leave that in the comments section below. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.